Hi, this is Karen from Cardio Golf, and today I want to talk about your grip, specifically how you put your hands on the club. So the grip is so important. It's one of the most important parts of the golf swing. You see your grip, how your hands are placed on the club, affect the club face, especially at impact. If you're swinging and your club face is open because of your grip, the ball is going to go off to the right if you're a right-handed golfer. If the club face is closed because of your grip, the ball will go off to the left. So what ends up happening is people tend to try to fix their club face at impact with some motion in their body or their hands instead of adjusting the grip. So I'd like to show you how to make sure that your hands are on correctly. So everybody's hands are different and your grip is going to look different from um, someone else's grip, but you, there's a couple of things that you want to try to achieve. You want to try to achieve a placement of your hands so that when you extend your arms out like this, the club face stays square. That means that leading edge is straight up and down. So you can do a little test. Put your hands on your club how you normally do and then extend your arms out and make sure that club face is square. Now, if your grip is incorrect, let's say you have a weak grip, watch what happens as I extend my arms out. That club face will go open. So open causes the ball to go off to the right if you're a right-handed golfer. If my grip is too strong or incorrect, it will close the, the club face. So you can do that little grip test. Extend your arms out and check to see which way your club face is going when your arms are extended out. And that way we can adjust your grip from there. So I use the Shorty Practice Training Club in my cardio golf classes. It's short for a couple of reasons. It's short so we can swing inside and we're not going to hit the ceilings or the walls. But also, the club face is closer to your hands so you can check your club face, especially at impact. So this is a great tool to have to practice your grip and make sure your club face is square. If you're a right-handed golfer like I am, you place your left hand on first, and when you put your thumb of your left hand on, you want to make sure it's down the side of the shaft, like this. So when you look down at your hands, you see two knuckles and that little V that that thumb and forefinger form point to the right side of your face. So let me just show you what would be wrong putting your thumb straight down like this. So I can't see my knuckles and that V is pointing straight to my face. So adjust your grip so that it's down in the fingers and that thumb is to the side. And you can see here when I look down, there's some wrinkles in the back of the wrist. So if I turn to the side this way, see how there's a definite hinge from my hands to the club. If my thumb is straight down like this, there's no hinge. So make sure you get that left hand correctly, and that's going to help you make sure that club face stays square. Now for the right hand. So once you have your left hand on, just put the, your arm in front right here, and then let your right arm swing from underneath, and then you're going to wrap your fingers around the club, cover your thumb, and that lifeline on the palm of your hand goes right on top of that thumb. And now that V that that thumb and forefinger form on this right hand also point to the right side of my face. So you can see here, you get a close up right here, that my little V's that those thumbs and forefingers form are parallel to the right side of my face. You want to avoid them being like this or being too strong like this. So try to adjust your grip till it's in a neutral position. So one of my favorite training tools is a training grip. Now, not everyone's hands are the same, but this training grip at least gives you an idea of how you want to put your hands on the club. So if you go to my website, cardiogolf.com, I'll have a link of where you can get your own training grip. So this is molded, and it shows me exactly where I want to place my thumb and my fingers. So you can see this is my left hand right here. So if I turn around right here, and show you from this angle right here. I can see two knuckles and that thumb, that little V that that thumb and forefinger form point to the right side of my face. You want to avoid having your thumb look like this. Good. That's what you want to look like. Then from here, your right hand comes from underneath and you cover that thumb and now you can see that little V also is parallel pointing to the right side of my face. I'm a right-handed golfer, so if you're left-handed, you have to flip it around. So you don't want your thumbs to be pointing straight down like this. 
The way you connect your hands is very personal. I do what's called an overlapping grip. I just piggyback my pinky over my forefinger like this. You can do a baseball grip or even an interlocking grip. Whatever feels comfortable to you. So check out your grip. That's going to affect the direction of the ball. So you want to make sure your grip is in a neutral position that's comfortable. It's going to help you square the club face. So check out my website and I'll send you the link to how to get your own training grip. And also check out more videos at CardioGolf.com.